When it opens in November 2011, the renovated George D. Aiken Center, home of the Rubenstein School of Environment and Natural Resources at the University of Vermont, will be one of the greenest buildings in American higher education. The building will have many environmental features, but one of the most interesting will be its extensive interior paneling using sustainably harvested wood from the Jericho Research Forest, a 492-acre tract of former farmland the university acquired in 1941 and uses for teaching and research. A visitor recently dropped in on the forest to meet the person who's managing the Aiken Timber Harvest and to watch sustainable forestry in action. There's a lot that goes into a certified forest management plan. One of the first things we think about is forest ecosystem health. And once we have that built into the plan, then we can start to think about human uses for the forest, such as recreation uh, or timber extraction and timber harvesting, which is what we're doing for the Greening of Aiken project. Uh, but instead of telling you about what goes into the plan, it's probably best for me just to go out and show you some of the practices that uh, we're doing out in the woods. And this will also give us a chance to see our logger, Bill Torrey, who's hard at work just about half, half a mile away from here. So this is a good example of one of our strategies in our sustainable forest management plan. And here we've taken out two large oaks that were at sort of the end of their growing cycle. And we did it in a way that created a small group in the forest, um, which is essentially trying to mimic what nature would do on its own. Uh, another example is that we've left these tops of the trees on the ground, and most of the nutrients of trees are in the buds and twigs, so all this tops of the trees will get recycled into the soil and will you know, nourish another growth of trees after that. So this is a tree that I've marked with blue paint to indicate to the logger that it's a tree that's meant to be cut. And this is a red oak, and I guess it's about 100 years old. And the reason I marked this one is because uh, the canopy of the tree has a lot of large dead branches. It's showing signs of decline. And so if your objective is to use trees for timber, then this is an excellent example of one that uh, is ready to be used. In addition to thinking about trees that should be cut from a forest, it's also important to think about trees that should be left in a forest. And this is a great example of a big old oak with a nice canopy that's uh, providing lots of acorns that will both feed wildlife and also hopefully start a next generation of oaks in this area. One of the most important things about working in the woods is to have a really skilled logger who can carry out the plans that the forester puts in place. And, and things that loggers do, like Bill, who's our logger, um, that he's really good at is directional felling. And, uh, and you'll notice in, in this harvest that a lot of the trees that remain haven't been damaged. Hey, Bill. Morning, sir. How you doing today? Good. What have you been cutting? Red oak. Red oak. The technique I use in cutting a directional felling for the tree is to remove a slice, almost like a pie slice, out of this tree in the direction that I want it to go. And what I'll do is I'll, is, you know, I'll keep the, the wedge will be like this, pointed down a little bit. And that wedge, when I come in on the back cut, that wedge, as the tree starts to go, will close up as the tree hits the ground. And sometimes you leave more hinge on one side than the other to try to hold a tree and swing a tree, especially if you're trying to, if it's leaning one way and you're trying to get at the other. All right, I'm gonna drop this red oak. It's probably about 100 years old, right down towards that little hemlock over there.
was eight, if you come back here at this stump and now look right at that that hemlock stand right here you'll see the top of that tree is right at that hemlock you know i may sound crazy but there's always a little bit of remorse sometimes when you cut at least for me when you cut a large tree like this not much i mean it, it's it's why we grew it and stuff but i mean that tree's been standing there for a hundred years now it's laying on the ground you know but it's not dead it'll be used it'll it'll be enjoyed now even in the aiken center so it's good between october and december 2010 125 trees were sustainably harvested from the Jericho Research Forest for the renovated Aiken building, more than 24,000 board feet in all. Paneling from nine different tree species will be prominently displayed in the building. <laughs>